Hello everyone, this is Medicine in 3 Minutes and we're back again with another video. So today we're going to be talking about development milestones. We're going to be talking in terms of trimesters, that is 3 months increments. So 3, 6, 9 and 12 months. What you're looking at over here is just a broad little summary that we will go back to at the very end um, of this video. So at 3 months, uh, you'll notice that we have divided this in terms of 4 set of skills, gross motor skills, fine motor skills, language and social skills. Uh, for all these four will be recurring uh, throughout all sets um, of development stages. So gross motor skills, the baby, um, all they can do is roll. They haven't developed uh, their balance yet, so they can't sit, stand, or walk. Fine motor skills, you're not looking for anything. Um, language, they're laughing, and that's about it. They can't babble yet. And in terms of social, uh, they'll be smiling or crying uh, if they're, uh, you know, uh, unhappy about something. Um, but there is no stranger uh, anxiety yet. At six months, we're looking at the four S's. So that is sit up, switch, schmooze, and stranger. Gross motor is sitting up. So now, before they used to be able to roll, now they can actually uh, sit up and have a little bit of balance. Fine motor, they're switching. So if you give them a sippy cup, they can actually hold it with one hand and, and change it around from one hand to the next. They can't use their fingers yet, however. And in terms of schmoozing, well, the baby is now uh, babbling. So they can laugh, they can cry, and they can also babble, like this little baby over the phone over here. And for social, they have developed stranger anxiety. So if they see something that's foreign to them and that scares them a little bit, chances are they'll probably uh, cry. At nine months, now we're looking at the four Ps. So pull, pincer, papa, and play. So for pull, before at six months, they could sit up. Now they can um, sort of stand. So they're pulling on curtains, on chairs, on their parents' uh, sleeves to be able to uh, keep themselves uh, in balance because they can't stand on their own yet. In terms of pincering, think of a uh, lobster's claw. So now they can pinch things they can actually use their fingers so if you give them the same CP cup that you gave them at six months now there's less likely a chance of them dropping it because they're using their fingers as well as their hands in terms of language you start to hear the first few words papa mama dada and in terms of social, well, there's social play. They start to learn how to interact with other toddlers their age or their parents or um, their peers. At 12 months, now we're looking at the four T's. So two legs, track, two words, and two of us. So two legs, now they can actually send, hold their balance on their own. They're completely um, autonomous. Uh, track, now they can track things. They can see things moving around. Um, they're aware that certain objects are impermanent and others aren't. Uh, two words, uh, now they start to learn how to talk and they can communicate better with their parents. Two of us, now they develop separation anxiety. So mom cannot be long, gone for, uh, for very long. Um, so again, um, I do apologize about the word milestone there. There should be an E instead of the additional L there. Sorry about that. So again, three, six, nine, and 12 months. Uh, these are the landmarks you're looking for. At three months, there are no fine motor skills. And all you see is rolling, laughing, and smiling. At nine months, you get the four Ps. They pull, they pincer, they say papa, and they start to play. At six months, you're looking at the four S's. So they sit up, they switch, no fingers yet, just hands, uh, schmoozing, baby talk, that is, um, and stranger, stranger anxiety. 12 months, we're looking at the four Ts. Two legs, now they're completely autonomous. Um, track, they can see things moving. Um, and two words, they learn how to develop language. And two of us, there is separation anxiety. Um, and that sums up our uh, video for today. This was Medicine in 3 Minutes, and thank you for watching.